It was in 1997 that the world's supercomputers became smart enough to beat a grandmaster, forever changing the game of chess. Players today are training using neural net engines, memorizing attacks by watching artificial intelligence, and even using chess engines to cheat. Magnus Carlsen has been the number one ranked chess player in the world for a decade and has been evolving with the game as well as the technology that surrounds it. Now, Magnus, you've been playing chess for over 20 years, and when you started playing the game, artificial intelligence wasn't really prevalent. So how has the technology changed the way we play chess? It has certainly changed the way both chess has been, is being played, but also the way people learn uh, about chess. And uh, there's a clear shift now with the new kids that are coming up that have a style that is more inspired by um, working with, with uh, computer engines from a very early age. So how has computerized engines and artificial intelligence influenced younger players? They have kind of unlearned some of the, the basics that were, um, were, were taught over uh, really the last um, 100 years and they've sort of developed new, new theories. It's super exciting for me both to play these players who have a different perspective, but also to, um, to learn from new neural networks. Does the use of technology in the game of chess devalue in any way the raw skill that players actually need to play chess? Uh, to some extent, yes. It's just the product of, of the time we live in that both engines and AI are becoming stronger. Uh, and when it comes to uh, openings and preparation, certainly they've leveled uh, the playing field quite a bit and made it harder for uh, the best players, including myself, to, to use skills that we have later. So when we look at artificial intelligence, is there a way that the technology can be used to help prevent something like cheating, for example, in, in the game of chess? You can already to some extent, but also over time, sort of track whether the, the style of, uh, of a player, um, you know, fits. So I think in, in terms of uh, cheating, if you cheat in a sophisticated way, right now it's hard to, um, to get caught. But I think over time AI can, uh, can pick up whether it's, it's your style or somebody, somebody else's. R right now we already have fairly good AI that can identify over a sample of thousands of games and it can see which particular top player has, has, has played this uh, game. So I think it can be super helpful. And Magnus, you are a grandmaster. You're known as one of the best players in the world. I'm curious, is there anything you would change about chess tournaments, the way they're played? So a couple of, couple of things. I'm very happy that over the recent years, there have been more tournaments uh, online, which has brought chess to, to a new audience. Also, there has been more rapid chess and blitz chess, uh, faster chess in general, which I think is often more relatable to, to wider, wider audience that often also have a shorter attention span. And I think in terms of um, the old kind of classical chess, where you have um, where you have several hours of thinking time per uh, per game, playing, for instance, then nine uh, chess nine sixty in those events and eliminating preparation and giving people more time to um, to make very complicated decisions there in a new situation could be could be very. Uh, very interesting uh, indeed. Now the app Play Magnus is actually based on how you play the game. So I am curious, has the app been able to beat you? Yeah, um, it has to be said that when I play, I play the app, I usually don't spend a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of time on, on each move. I don't treat it like it's a, it's a classical game, but it's certainly able to, uh, to, to beat me. Uh, and uh, it's, for me, it's also interesting to see like certain ideas that I'm, I'm and then I'm kind of reminded, oh, I remember when I learned about that. So that's pretty exciting. 
Magnus, you've been playing the game of chess for decades and you've seen the evolution of the game. So what does the future of chess look like? I'm trying to shape it to some extent. Uh, but yeah, I do think there will be more and more um, events with uh, Blitz and, and, and Rapid Play. I think that is to a large extent the future.